Hello. Hello. Oh, wow, it's great to see you all. It's Rebecca here and it's Katie. Yes, and we're from CBBS. You might recognize us. We are super excited to be here today, aren't we, Katie? We absolutely are. Look, I'm spinning on my chair. I'm so excited. Look. <laughs> well, I hope we're going to have lots of fun today because guess what? This is the first ever Now and Beyond on Inside Out Day Festival. Oh, wow. And even bigger news, there are over a thousand schools which have signed up. That's absolutely awesome. So we've got <laughs> teachers, parents, children all watching today. Hello. Hi, Hi everybody. everybody. Oh, yes. Katie, tell us a little bit about this session, Katie. Okay, so you ready? Whoop! We're going to be giving you some <laughs> tips and tricks to help you manage your emotional health. But I have a question. Rebecca, what is emotional health? Tell us. Oh, yes, this is a very good question. Well, emotional health is a little bit like physical health. Well, you think about exercising, going to the park, playing football or running around. Well, that's your physical health. Or even when we look after our teeth, we brush our teeth every day to keep our teeth healthy. Well, emotional health is a bit like that. So it's taking care of our mind and our feelings. And that is what this session is all about. It's brain boosted with that wowser. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we can do things regularly, like each day, that actually help us keep our brains healthy, not just our bodies and our teeth. Exactly. We can look after our mind Love and it. our feelings, which is super exciting. But get this, we've got some furry friends. Our Bow Wowser pack of dogs are going to be here with some amazing singing, laughing, making and having lots and lots of fun. I can't wait. Can you, Katie? I can't wait. I want, I want to celebrate it. Can we all just give a massive cheer? Ready? One, two, three. Woo! No, hang on. Stop, 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 stop. I can't hear all of the kids and the boys and the girls. I can't hear all the teachers. Can we do it again, but like louder? I'm going to spin really fast, make myself dizzy. One, two, three. Woo! <laughs> oh, that was amazing. Now then, you might be wondering, I don't know if you can see, but I'm wearing my top inside out. And it's not because I got dressed in the dark this morning. No, no, no. It's because it's inside out day. And we're all supposed to be wearing our tops inside out. So, uh, actually, Kate, Katie? Yeah, I haven't got mine on inside out. Do you want me no. to turn it inside out? Uh, yes, please. Okay, hang on a minute. I'll turn my t-shirt inside out. But wait, if I'm going to turn my t-shirt inside out, all our friends need to as well. Definitely. So if you haven't got your top on inside out at the moment, do it right now, join in with Katie, pop it on inside out, back to front, just get it on. Fantastic. Oh, Katie, you're doing very well there. But really? Rebecca, I've got a question. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Why are we turning our tops inside out? Well, that's a very, very good question. Because sometimes, you know, we might feel a little bit down or anxious or angry and nobody would be able to tell. So, We'll turn the top inside out. It just reminds us to be kind to one another because you just never know how someone's feeling on the inside. So always be kind. That's the message of today. That's the number one message. Always be kind. And it's okay to not feel okay. And that's really important, isn't it? All your feelings are okay. The bad ones are okay and the good ones are okay. So if you are feeling sad or angry or anything like that on the inside, Maybe try and find a trusted adult that you can talk to or a friend. And if you can't find someone, then you can always start by being kind to yourself, can't you, Rebecca? Oh, such wise words, Katie. That, that, that's really I'm important. so wise. I'm very, so very wise. wise. <laughs> very, very wise. I'm very wise. The great thing is, though, about kindness, get this, Katie, the best thing about kindness is that it makes you feel really, really good. Yes, it's proven to release chemicals in your brain, happy, happy chemicals that boost, boost you, make you feel really, really happy. And not only that, it makes the other person feel happy too. So it's a win-win situation. How cool is that? And it's almost like a ripple effect. So let's say I'm kind to someone, then they feel like they want to be kind to someone else. And then that person's kind to someone else as well. So it's like throwing a stone into a river or a stream, and then all of the ripples keep flowing outwards and outwards and outwards. So like, think about this, you could be kind to someone today, and that kindness could even spread around the entire world. That's amazing, isn't it? We can affect someone on the other side of the world just by being kind today. 
Rebecca, this is like actual magic. Isn't it? Isn't it? I love it. Rebecca, you are so good at explaining things. You really oh. are. Oh, stop it, Katie. No, you are. <laughs> you really? are. Oh. Rebecca, you are. Oh, stop it. Stop it. Katie, that makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. <laughs> You know what, though? I always think it's useful to try and think of actual things we can do to be kind. Because sometimes I think I really want to be kind and then my brain just goes and I don't even know what to do. So here's some examples, three examples, right, that I can think of. First one, you could make somebody you love, a friend, a parent, a teacher, you can make them a card just with some crayons and some pens and just tell them how much you love them and what you think is brilliant about them. You could even just say, you're brilliant, couldn't you? <laughs> And then the second thing we could do is we could maybe give someone a hug, someone in our house, a nice big warm cuddle, maybe our mum or dad. And then the other thing we could do is just tell someone something really nice. Tell them that they look nice, tell them you like their jumper or their shoes. If you think something nice about someone, tell them, that's what I always say. Oh, there are some brilliant ideas there, Katie. Thank you so much for sharing them. And our Bow Wowser pack of dogs are here as well with their hints and tips in this brilliant kindness video. Let's take a look. I feel good, na 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 na. I'm such a good boy. Oh yeah, woohoo! Seriously, doggos, how many kind things have you done today? I've done three already, and it's only lunchtime. <laughs> Check me out. I uh, video called my mate Duke. Hey, buddy, just calling to say you're totally awesome. Eh, uh, thanks. Layers. I was extra neighbourly and pulled in next door's bin. She's an elderly dog, so I like to help her out. Oh, thanks, me darling. I put some slick new tyres on Kaylee's wheels. She's been after them for ages. Is it though? Sweet! You know what? Doing kind things makes me feel totally awesome. Here's why. There's some brainy scientific evidence to suggest that when you're kind and help others, it can promote physio... Uh... Physio... Uh, physio... Oh, never mind. Special changes in your brain linked with happiness and feeling, well, happier. And the bonus is you make someone else feel good too. Winning! Since doing my good doggy deeds, I've heard back from my pals. Guess what? They've only started a kindness revolution. They've each paid it forward. Oh, it felt good when Dex said I was Pawson. So I paid it forward and I called three friends to tell them how Pawson they are. Oh, it made me feel like a superhero. I wrote a thank you letter to the bin dogs. When Dex hooked me up with my new wheels, I was like so happy. So, I decided to make someone else happy. I went to the shop for my mum because we run out of tea bags and she was like, well pleased. And then I made her a cup of tea and then I told her I loved her. Legit, it's cool to be kind. Wow, a kindness revolution. That is so bow wowza. Let's all do something kind. And if someone is kind to you, pay it forward. Hashtag be more bow wowza. And hashtag be bow wowza kind. And subscribe to my channel. friends that was so good I've got loads more ideas about how we can be kind to each other now and also if you would like to find out some more information about how we can be kind to each other and find some fun activities too you can head to the Bow Wowser website which is bowwowser.com I will be heading there straight after this I cannot wait yeah. well, from one brain boosting activity to another it's keeping fit. That's right. Movement, exercise, shaking our bodies out, whatever it is, we can do it. And it's scientifically proven to help you feel happier. How cool is that? It's another brilliant brain boost. That's right, Rebecca. Yeah, you know, there's an actual fact that when you start moving your body, your brain releases this chemical called endorphins. What was that? Let's say that word. It's a good word. Ready? Endorphins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and it makes you feel much much happier it's actually called a happy hormone yeah so getting up and exercising is definitely another way that we can boost our brains and feel better oh fantastic i love putting music on and having a bit of boogie a bit of a boogie in my bedroom i really oh, love doing that or a kitchen disco i love a kitchen disco oh, they're fantastic they really are so <laughs> fun. well talking of activity and our bodies 
I've got a little exercise that we can do together just to just to make us realize how how we stand can really affect our mood. So where are you sitting or standing right now? I want you to just, I'll, I'll move my camera down a little bit like this. I want you okay. to just lump your foot, your shoulders forward like this. Ooh. And then you notice your head just drops forward slightly. Oh, and I don't know about you, but I'm not smiling anymore. I'm, I'm, I'm actually frowning and my, my lips are turning downwards. Oh dear. But then yeah. if we just roll our shoulders backwards, like this, backwards and down. <gasps> oh, my neck starts uh -huh. to extend. My head's lifted up and my eyes are actually looking up to the sky. Oh, I feel good. And if we just roll our arms open and out. <gasps> oh, feel all that happiness coming into you. It feels amazing. <laughs> instantly, my crown has been turned upside down. I feel incredible. I feel really, really happy. So instantly, you can change how you feel. So if you're feeling sad, quite often you're looking down and you're feeling down too but if you just lift your head up and put your shoulders back you can really change how you feel and another way how we can change how we feel is by moving so why don't we get moving do you fancy that katie <laughs> yes she does brilliant i'll get rid of my chair as well over there now you can do this sitting down join in however you want to you can just move your arms or your legs on your chair or your head whatever it is I'm so ready you're so ready. Fantastic. Okay. So, oh, there we go. Let's try that again. Okay. So, find some space. Can you see me? I'm going to move my camera. Make sure you've got plenty of space around you by waving your arms around and maybe do a bit of a spin. Woo! Woo -hoo! Fantastic. Now, let's just start by shaking our arm out like this. Fantastic. And the other arm. Give it a good shake. Wake that arm up. Woo! Brilliant. Hello, arm. Now let's shake our legs. So balancing on one leg. Can you do that? Shake one foot. And the other leg. And now let's shake our whole body. Woo! Let it all out. Oh, that feels so good. Woo! Brilliant. Okay, now let's start by marching on the spot. So just march on the spot. Use your arms. That's it. Okay, up. Now walk towards me if you can. Walk. Woo, I'm back. Woo. Up forward and a clap. Now stay here. Clap your hands above your head. Brilliant. Now let's wave our hands. Woo. And give a bit of a, a shimmy as well. Let's wave to everyone over this way. Woo. Hello, everyone. And everyone over this way. Brilliant. And let's march again. And in fact, why don't we turn this into a bit of a jog? Let's really get going. Now bring it towards me. Woo! And clap. Twice and wave. Woo! Yes. This feels so good. Now wave over here. Hello, everyone. Now over here, now clap your hands, woo, bring it forward, woo, and back, shake your arms, and your legs, and give yourself a big round of talking and I've loved everything we've been talking about but just getting up I feel so much more energized it's brilliant I just need to go and uh, find my chair please do slide it back over this way dear oh I hope you enjoyed that I I did I feel I feel really happy actually yeah I feel so much better for doing that that was such a great idea Rebecca you're oh. brilliant at that oh. I love it Oh, thank you. Well, thank you for joining in, Katie. And, and thank you for joining in at home or school, wherever you are today. That was so much fun. Which leads me on to brain booster number three. It's all about being grateful. Now, what does grateful mean? 
it means being thankful, thankful for things around us and thankful for people around us too. Oh, that's a great idea. Of course, yeah, having gratitude for the things that you have in your life. Now that could be big things and it could be small things. And it's proven that that actually gives us happiness and makes us feel so much better. And it's a great thing that we can get into the habit of doing and we can do that in all sorts of different ways. We could do it in the morning when we first wake up or we could do it at night time, do it any time of day, as long as we keep doing it as often as we can. Well, Katie, I've got the perfect thing for you to keep practicing thankfulness. And um, that is by making your very own thank you box. I've got a little box here. You can use anything you want, maybe like a kitchen roll, an old kitchen roll, or I don't know, or a little jar, whatever you want. But I'm going to make my very own Thank you box. Okay, so Ooh. I've got look, I've got glittery things. I've got I've got these things as well. I'm gonna I'm gonna start with these glitter pens and I'll hold this up, see if you can see this. I'm just gonna draw on here some swirls, some glittery swirls. Oh, I'm pretty love getting arty. I know you do too, Katie, don't you? I love getting out the paints, yeah. Oh, it's a great opportunity to get crafty, hey. It really is. So if you've got a spare moment at home and you've got some something in the recycling that you could use, an old tissue box or an old shoe box, a bit like this, you can use anything you want to decorate it. You can use your colouring pens, pencils. Um, oh, I've got these little pipe cleaners here, which I think I'm gonna I'm gonna twist around like this. This is quite good fun actually. And I've got some sellotape. I'm gonna stick this on the box. I'll show you what I've done here. Look at that little woo! Oh, that's cute. I like that. You can, yeah, so you can pop anything you want onto your little thank you box. Um, pop this on. Oh, here. Rebecca, could you get pictures from a magazine and rip them out? Your your favourite, maybe your favourite characters on television or something like that, and you could stick them on with glue. That is a fantastic yeah. idea. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, you can use, you know, coloured card, you can stick coloured card on, or maybe there's a picture that you've made at school um, that's sitting in your bedroom and you just think, oh, well, I, I'll pop that onto my thank you box. Yeah. Now then, what do you think of that, Katie? I love it. It's so cute. It's <laughs> fun. It's really fun. So what do you do with the box, Rebecca? Oh, I'm glad you've asked me that, Katie. I have printed off on the Bow Wowser website this is a thank you card. So I can write something on here that I'm thankful for and I can post it straight in the box. So you can write it on any piece of paper if you want, but mm -hmm. at Wowzer I've got this brilliant thank you card that you can download as well and use. So I'm gonna write something down on this right now. Let me get a pen. So, okay, I'm actually gonna write this to you, Katie. Dear Katie, thank you for being you. You are wonderful and make me smile every day well there you go I've written that on there I mean I can read it I don't know if you can but I'm going to pop this into my thank you box oh this is so much fun that's a, such a lovely idea Rebecca on in my box there it is and I can't wait to fill that up. So it's brimming with lots and lots of brilliant, thankful notes, everything that I'm grateful for every day. Oh, that is so lovely. I tell you what, if you don't have a box at home, you could use anything really to, to think of all the things you're grateful for. In fact, you could just make a little book out of pieces of paper. And I've got this old exercise book that I've written on. Look, I've written gratitude journal. Can you see? Oh, that's yeah. brilliant. Uh -huh. And I'm going to decorate it with my pens a bit later, but I'm going to start by just putting three things in here I'm really grateful for. So I can immediately think of the first thing I'm grateful for, which is my friendship with you, Rebecca, because you are a fantastic friend to me. So I'm going to write Rebecca. Thank and then the second thing I'm really grateful for is to have a home. I'm really grateful just to have a home and a, a roof over my head. And the third thing I'm grateful for is a really pretty tree that's just outside my house. And it's got really pretty flowers on it. And every time I see it, it makes me feel really good. So I'm gonna write tree outside. There we go. That's three things. Oh. I've started to think of loads of things actually. I'm actually really grateful for my, for my socks because they're so fluffy and warm. <laughs> I'm grateful for your socks too, Katie. 
Oh, I'm so glad. They are really good socks. Thanks for that, Rebecca. They're lovely. That's a great idea. A gratitude journal. I love it. Would you know what? what's good as well about this is that you can just go back to your gratitude box or your gratitude journal and reread the things that you had written down that you were grateful for so you can just a good idea yeah just keep going back to them so it always reminds you of all those things that you've got to be thankful about which i absolutely love and you can do that you know at the end of every week you can collect as many many things that you're thankful for and at the end of that week have a little read and it'll just remind you and you'll start to feel good again so it's a wonderful thing to do and right now our, our wowser friends are going to tell us even more about gratitude let's join them now hey doggos i'm dexter d and i've got a new challenge for you yes. it's called the, the 10, 10 second, second gratitude, gratitude challenge. challenge it's good isn't it it's gonna break the internet and change the world. All you've got to do is list all the things that you're grateful for, as many as you can in 10 seconds. I'll go first. I'm grateful for my family, my friends, my impeccable style, uh, lemon curd, the internet, my subscribers, mouthwash, kind people, Watford FC, ah, oh, time's up. So what's the point? Well, it's scientifically proven by a science brainiac that thinking of all the things that you're grateful for is super powerful. Some people find the more you look for the things to feel grateful for, the more you'll spot. And as we get better at spotting the good stuff, we're also teaching our brains to be more uh, positive and happier. So I nominate uh, Nia and Alan. Take it away, guys. Thanks, Dex. Well, I'm grateful for music. Oh, sausages. My guitar. Sausages. And the gift of my voice. La. Cumberland sausages. A warm breeze on a summer's day. Frankfurter's bratwurst. My roller skates. Chorizo sausages. <sighs> Ooh, did I say sausages? Time's up. That was epic. Thanks, guys. Why don't you guys try it at home and get your friends and family involved as well? Let's start a gratitude revolution. And, of course, hashtag be more bow wowzer. Bye! I could really go with some sausages right now. Ah, woo oh, thank you, Dex, for those amazing, amazing tips on gratitude. I think I've really got the grip of it now. Now, moving on to our next brain booster, which is friendship. Friendship is such a massively important part of keeping us happy and keeping us well. And well, I'm going to start with you, Rebecca, because you're one of my best friends and you are such a fantastic friend and you make me feel so good all the time. So you tell us a bit more about friendship. Oh, thank you, Katie. That's made me feel really, really good. Thank you for your kind words. Of course, you are one of my best friends, Katie. If not my best friend, don't tell my other friends. <laughs> but there are so many benefits to friendship. We're actually hardwired to make friends and be sociable. And when we do that, we actually feel even better so that's why it's really really important to make friends and and make time for our friends too it's Absolutely. really really good for our brains and actually we got a brilliant friendship song um from our bow wowser friends i absolutely love this song maybe we can all join in together so let's head over to our bow wowser friend to tell us a bit more about it let's do it Welcome to the news, inexplicably from the bath, with me, Pora Prunesberg. Today, global megastar Drake has announced the release of a new song, being hailed by some as an absolute banger. Rumours suggest that the musical giant has collaborated with YouTube superstars Dexter D, Kaylee Yankaba, and Nia Keatley. No one has heard the track yet, but we do have an exclusive statement from Drake himself. Over to you, Drake. Hello, darlings. It's me. Not that rapper, dude. I'm the original Drake. Actor, singer, doggo. The triple threat. And you're right, I do have a sublime new song. It's called 
furry friends. You see, friends are so important and can even be good for the old brain. It's true. They can make you feel happy and special, like a superstar, darling. And they can help you when you feel sad, too. So this song is for my famous friends, Ariana, Miley, Hugh Jackman, Goldie Horn, Mr. Tumble, and not forgetting little Simon Cowell. He once said I had the X Factor. <laughs> this song's also for my darling doggo friends, but most importantly, it's for you, my friends at home. Yes, you, and you, and, and you, at the back too. Here it is, Bertie, be a dear and press play. Whether you're near or far, far away, we, we can have fun and we can play. I'll always listen to what you say, making memories every day. When you are on the phone, I will be here to help you break. I'll always be around. Come on, everyone. Ready? Why don't you send this song to a friend? Or be kind and make a new friend. And don't forget to subscribe! Oh, oh wow, that was absolutely brilliant. Thank you so much to our Bow Wowser friends. I absolutely love that. And I hope you did too. Wow, what a day it's been today, Katie. We have learned so many brain boosting tips. It's been amazing. Let's let's remind ourselves of them right now. Let's do it. Okay, so the first one we learned about was kindness. Kindness to ourselves and to other people. Easy. And one of my favorites, getting up, moving and exercising to make our brains feel happy. Yeah, release all those fantastic happy hormones, endorphins. And the third thing was gratitude. Make a box get some paper, make a little book and write down all the things you're grateful for in your life, whether they're big or small. Oh, thank you, Katie. <laughs> and last but not least, having fun and laughter with our friends is a fantastic way to feel happy. Yes. Oh, great. Thank you so much for coming today, everyone. Now, don't forget to wear your jumpers or your t-shirts inside out for Inside Out Day. Whoop, whoop. Yes, that's right. And we hope you've had a brilliant time today and continue to have a brilliant day and enjoy the festival. Take care. Bye for now. Bye. <laughs>